The minority in parliament has once again raised concerns about the rise in inflation, huge public debts, and the challenges facing the economy. At a media briefing in Accra, the minority leader, Osai Chairman Sabonso, described the economy as hopeless, adding that government is making life unbearable with excessive borrowing for non profitable ventures. The minority leader in parliament, Osei Chairman Sabonso, attributed a sharp decline in the economy to what he described as government's unbridled appetite for borrowing. He explained that the public debt, which stood at 95 trillion cities as at the end of 2008, has quadrupled to 556 trillion cities within five years. If the public debt reaches 60% threshold, it will become unsustainable for us as a nation. The piling up of such debt simply means that every year from, from 2009 to 2013, the NDC-led government has on the average added 8.1 billion to our public debt. Sad to observe that over 48.5 of the debt was borrowed locally. That means that government has been competing with the private sector for money domestically. The effect of this is the rise in interest rates, which makes it harder for domestic businesses to, create, to grow and create jobs. It is sad to relate that it is the youth who are now unemployed who will be required to pay this, uh, this debt sometime in the future. Unfortunately, fellow Ghanaians, there is not much to show for all these huge loans contracted not much productive investment. The minority also raised concerns about what it describes as the lack of discipline in government expenditure resulting in huge fiscal deficits. Mr. Mensa Bonso raised issues about all the facets of the economy, describing them as being in total disarray. Evidence of the true state of the economy can be found in our everyday lives, in the markets, in our residences, in workplaces, in the industries, and in the streets. The cost of doing business has skyrocketed, and this has impacted negatively on employment in both formal and informal sectors. The high cost of living is exacting its toll on all of us, and it's no wonder that the public sector workers are agitating for pay rise from government. Standard of living is falling. Life is becoming unbearable, and our people are getting poorer. Public financing is out of control, and to state that the economy is in trouble is a huge understatement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the horrifying state of the economy. The economic fundamentals are hopeless and cannot be described as sound by any stretch of imagination.